Eddie and Ray are friends. That's why Ray's walking his bike instead of riding home, so he can be with his friend Eddie. Makes no sense. Now, Carl. Carl is not a friend. He lives in the same neighborhood, but he hasn't made friends with the others. He's too into William Burroughs. Here's Jane. She's a friend. And guess what? I don't know. She's going home to make some fudge. And she's invited I never fellows would have to come guessed. over later and sample it. Yes, sir, friendships are worth having, aren't they? If you like fudge. Carl isn't in on the fun. He isn't in the gang. Maybe he's just not the friendly sort. What do you think? Maybe he's allergic so to chocolate. Fun to have a friend and be a friend. Why is it some people Hi, are friends. not friends? Wouldn't it be more fun to have more friends? Or just say friends a we lot. We all have fun with our own friends. But what about other people? Oh. Mightn't they be fun? After all, we're all strangers till we make friends. Oh, cool hot tub. Ray's brother. Why does he have a yoga mat? Lots of friends. Well, he's got a friends yoga body. Look at that. I know. Well, I won't hurt your old bike. I said you can't ride it. Let's go. Oh, it's his wallet. Oh, it's the debate tomorrow. This is a job for a yoga man. All right, let's stretch. Trying to take my bike. Yeah, you keep your old bike. Zing. Let's try that again, only don't pick the books up. The fuck did he want? Phil has always tried to help Ray be friendly. And Ray has learned. But, well, sometimes he sort of forgets. He's high. God, look at all the stains on the wall. Don't they have any rags in there? I uh, thought you and Eddie were friends. He's no friend of mine. Why not? He's fucking our mom. Oh, he called me stingy. Hello? Were you? Just because I wouldn't let him ride my bike. Mm-hmm. You are a monster. I should say not. He wrecked his own bike. Seriously, look at it. They're like blood stains on the wall. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> so you're not friends anymore, huh? Well, it's too bad. Maybe so. You two always seem to have good times together. It's the Ed Gein family. Right. Uh, get in this Give box, would you? It's his screen test. Is, uh, We're going to make an Eric Roberts sex table. Sure. Did you wreck it? Of course not. Previously on screen fixing. Oh, you mean, <laughs> you mean I'm more careful of his bike than I am of my own. That's just what I mean. Guess maybe I am. You know, to keep your friends, you got to be... Got to be pretty considerate. It's not really about making friends. It's about repairing a screen. This is going to be a 90-minute film. Yeah. It might work. I don't think Eddie would have wrecked your bike, but even if he did, his friendship's worth more. After all the fun you guys have had together, why, you... What well, the... Where are you going? Where'd you go? Uh, you know. Seriously, there's like Ray. bloody handprints you know, on every wall. I'm sorry, I was wrong. But it makes friends, Ray. Makes friends. Day 15. Screen <laughs> Does he do anything else with his life? Thought maybe you could use a little help. I sure can. What he just, just a pair a period? Cut it out, will you? Say, does Dad know you're fixing this? No, I'm planning to surprise him. Well, well, hello there. Hi, Hi Mr. Martin. Martin. How are you? Well, I'm still old. This letter bike I borrowed from your father. Uh, are you sure that's our letter? It sure is now. It is? Oh, well, there were a couple of steps broken, and I just happened to have a little spare time, and... Well, it's as good as new. Thanks, Mr. Martin. Thanks a lot. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Oh, I uh, noticed that you're fixing that screen. See, you still got a lot of blood on the wall. Thought you <laughs> might uh, want to touch up the frame. 
Here, use what you need. It's maple That's why syrup. I see you, Mr. Martin. You know, it's good to see you boys helping your father this way. And if uh, you need our ladder, you're sure welcome to it. Why, thanks a million. Mr. Martin, I've had it. I'll the paint. I mean, when we're through with it. Uh, there's no hurry. What are you going to do, well, peel it off the frame? So long, boys. So long, Mr. Martin. Bye. And thanks again. Sorry you're on that watch list. <laughs> now there's what I call a friendly guy. Yeah, everybody likes Mr. Martin. There are bloody fingerprints on the wall. Hey, you're really thinking about this business of being friendly, aren't you? Well, it sure would be a lot friendlier world if everybody were like that. Well, most people are like that. Old and lonely? But being friendly is a two-way proposition. Really? To find out how friendly other people are, you have to practice being friendly yourself. Meanwhile, yep. their house is full of mosquitoes. Well, how to be friendly? I should look for the good in other people. And be courteous. And be generous. Even when it hurts. <laughs> There's one more thing, though. I'm sorry? Yeah. Well, you have to like people. Take Mother and Dad, for instance. Oh, I'm out. They enjoy meeting new people, don't they? Sure. They love key they parties. Their attitude. They're really interested in other people. Other people know it. A little too interested. Is that why you have so many friends? Because you like people? I guess so. At least I'm not timid or standoffish. So, people aren't standoffish with me. Yeah, shy people you suck. Somebody, you let them know about it. Oh, first thing you know. You've made a new friend. But do they always turn out to be good friends? Usually. Go, Ray! Where you want your bike? Hi, Eddie. How's Over it going, Eddie? Over against the wall. Anyway. Hey, Dick Sargent's going to be here in a minute. You have to leave now, Dick York. <laughs> What's York? <laughs> just, just shoehorn that in there. <laughs> uh, say, you know that... That rear reflector of yours? You didn't wreck it. I smashed it up about a month ago. Oh, I what? I know one lying around. I put it on. For a powerful wizard. Well, it sure is shiny. For an old one. Well, anyway, there it is. So is he. Boy, thanks a lot, Eddie. How about that? There's a real pal for you. Well, it's certainly something to reflect By the on. By way, when I passed Janie's house, she said the fudge was ready. Come on, why don't you say so? Uh, yeah, you, you buried the else? lead. Go ahead, take off. Right. Wait a second. Hurry up, will you? I'll stay here. I've got to get this ready I for Larry Tate. Today, I let her use my new skates. That's all. Come on. Never going to finish that thing. Are you going to take a dump now? Yes, friendships are worth having. At home, at school, wherever we are, it's fun to be with our friends. And Ray has learned lots of ways to be friendly. Hey, I'm still eating. I'm, I'm not but done with... I'm not... Uh, aren't in the gang? He's a what garbage person. New friends? What did Phil say about liking people? You have to. And showing them that you like them? Would Carl make a good friend? It isn't hard to find out. Try saying something. Anything. Something to break the ice. No, it isn't hard to start a new friendship. And it isn't hard to be generous. That's one Eat way it. to be friendly. Eat it. How it works. It's a baseball. You throw it. And it isn't hard to be courteous. That's What'd you do to my ball? And it isn't hard what are you to be doing? The one who introduces All right. a new friend. I'm in the club to too. Friends. And you never can tell just how much a new friendship is going to mean to you. You missed the fudge, though. Hi, Phil. Well, where you been, Woody? That screen's looking pretty We've been good. We're the radio station. The whole gang. Radio We're station. protesting that they fired well, Frank Conniff. Ago, I met a new friend, <laughs> Carl. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Well, it turns out he can play the piano. Really play it. I didn't know a kid could play like that. Except that kid in Shine. And they had him do a whole radio program. Jim Henson's yes, Glenn was. Gould Babies. We went through the whole radio station. Then we sat right in the studio with him. Gosh. Boy, did I get a kick up. 
You'd have thought he was my own brother or something. Play faster. He's kind of my special friend. Once rock and roll is invented, his popularity is dead. Oh, that's a cover. I think it meant a lot to him, having us there, having his friends sort of share it with him. Anyway, I guess it proves that you've been trying to tell me about Billy. Comrade Stalin wants a recording of that. Anybody, doesn't. Oh, uh, woodwork and classical music is how to win over friends. Okay. But will your friend listen to you? <laughs>